Okay guys, today's lesson is on decimals to fractions. Uh, make sure you have your notes in front of you. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a review on decimals because that's going to be very important for you to have that review in order so that you can see that connection between decimals and fractions. So um, I will let you know once you need to start writing your notes, but right now just kind of listen, okay? In order to write a decimal as a fraction, you must understand place value, okay? You must understand decimal place value. So when you know, when you see a decimal, you need to know that everything after that decimal represents something less than one. So that's why you have that fifth, that th after that, because that is something less than one, okay? So um, it's important that you know how to read a decimal. So let's just say, for example, I have um, this decimal. A lot of people will just say it's 0.364, um, but technically you should say it's 364 thousandths. So it's really easy for you to read it. If you look at this, if you were to just look at this number by itself, I know you know how to say that. You would just say 364. But if I want to say it as a decimal, you just need to look at that last place value that it's in, and it's in the thousandths. So you would just say 300, 364 thousandths. Okay? So you just say this normal like you no this number like you normally would, but then you throw on that place value at the end. Okay, let's try another one. So if I were to say, um, oh, I'm, I keep I keep using the same number. So let me try a different one. Um, let's do that. So again, you can see this one. I know you know how to say that. You say 87, right? But then when you look at it as a decimal. Look at that last place value it's in. It's in the hundredths. So you just say 87 hundredths. Okay? All right, let's try another one. Um, all right. So I know you know how to say this. That's just two. Then look at the place value it's in. It's in the tenths, so that's two tenths. Okay? Um, let's do another one just with a zero in it so you understand that too. Let's say I have this. All right, there's your number. You know how to say that. That's 49, right? 49, and that 9 is in the thousandths place, so that's 49 thousandths. Okay? All right, so that's just a review of place value and how you can say a decimal, uh, or you can say um, uh, the decimal. So if you look at this, here are your rules. Um, why don't you go ahead and just, you can... Pause the video in a second and write them down, but let's just talk about it. So the first thing it says that you need to do is you need to say the decimal. So let's go back and look at what we did earlier. So 364 thousandths. So if you can say the decimal correctly, 364, and that's in the thousandths, did you hear yourself say thousandths? So then it's just really easy. You're going to put that number over either 10, 100, or 1,000. So 364 thousandths. So you do 364 thousandths. Okay? Then the next thing it says is that you need to simplify your decimal. So, or sorry, simplify your fraction. So you need to figure out what you can divide by. So I'm pretty sure, let's see, 364. Um, I can divide that by 4. So if I divide by 4, I get 91 over, and if I divide this by 4, I get 225. Four, 250, sorry, 250. Okay? Now, if you didn't know to divide by 4, you could have divided by 2 to start with. That's fine. All right, let's check the next one. 87 hundredths. Ah, did you see yourself? You said that. 87 hundredths. Okay? Then I need to simplify. Okay, I I can't simplify that. So that's all you have there. Okay, it's just 87 hundredths. All right, this one, 2 tenths. You said tenths, so you just put it over 10. Okay? Um, I can divide them both by 2, and I get 1 fifth. All right, last one here, 49 thousandths. 49 thousandths. So you said 49 thousandths. Um, again, I cannot simplify that, so that's all there is. Okay? 
All right, so let's do a couple examples together. So now you want to go ahead and write down. Um, so why don't you pause the video and write down the rules, and then we'll come back and we'll do these three together. So pause the video. All right, hopefully you've written down those rules. So let's look at this. It says, say the decimal, 6, and that's in the tenths place. So that's 6 tenths. Now I need to simplify it. I can divide them both by 2. So if I divide by 2, I get 3 fifths. Okay? All right, 45, and that's in the hundredths place. 45 hundredths. If I divide by 5, I get 9 twentieths. This is 238 thousandths. So I'm going to divide by 2 here, and I think I get 119 over 500. Okay? All right, another quick and easy way to do this, if you look at this, if I have 6 tenths, how many numbers are after that decimal? Just one. Ooh, how many zeros? Just one. If I look at this number, how many numbers are after this decimal? Two. Ooh, how many zeros? Two. How many numbers after the decimal? Three. How many zeros? Three. Okay, so that's just another quick and easy way to help you out. All right? Okay. All right, so here is your problems now. You've got four problems to work on. This is your exit slip. Uh, make sure they are in lowest terms, lowest terms, okay? All right, I need to check these before you move on to worksheet two, all right? All right, guys, have a great day. If you have any questions, make sure you talk to me.